Pakistan's one of the highest head heidel project being developed in beautiful valley of Kagan under CPEC. Due to the tight schedule and early harvest project of CPEC the construction activities were not stopped even during pandemic. As evident from the comparison of last year and current visuals, the major structure works are erected and ready to divert the river route third time. Let's reveal the construction activities being executed on Suki Kanari Hydropower Project. The dam of Suki Kanari Hydropower Project is located about 10 kilometers upstream of Kagan Town. The maximum dam height is 54.5 meters and the length is 336 meters. It would be asphalt concrete core rock fill dam. To construct the main dam, river water will be diverted third time through the bottom, outlets of double layer spillway. According to the construction schedule, the closure milestone will be achieved by end of April, 2021. To achieve this, the structural works of upstream and downstream of spillway, chute area, right and left retaining walls and upstream coffer dam are at full swing. According to the design river flow and dam spillway structures, the construction team needs to complete the lower spillway bays, right and left retaining wall at certain elevation for final diversion of the river. Despite the severe weather conditions, the project management team determined to catch the schedule date. To achieve this, the maximum resources have been deployed and best international practices are applied during concreting works. The repair work of permanent overflow surface cracks and positioning taper holes of spillway are in progress. The upstream coffer dam is earth and rock fill dam. Under the coffer dam embankment, a single row of controlled grouting is set up to control the seepage. The ground properties shall be improved with the injection of cement grout slurry. It is also necessary to complete the closure dike filling and all grouting works of upstream coffer dam in order to facilitate subsequent dam foundation excavation and drainage work. The headrace tunnel is located on the right bank of Kunhar River and being excavated through drilling and blasting method. Due to the longer length of headrace tunnel, eight access edits had been arranged to work at multiple work fronts. Overall, about 60% excavation of 23 km long tunnel has been done so far. The headrace tunnel is passing through the comparatively high mountainous terrain including some faults. The overall progress of the headrace tunnel is good however at some sections, poor geological conditions are affecting the excavation advance. At the end of the 23-kilometer-long headrace tunnel, a surge shaft is under construction to neutralize the hammering effect of water due to sudden shutdown of units. The 234 meters deep shaft has two chambers namely upper and lower chambers. The excavation of 25 meters diameter upper chamber is in progress. Due to poor ground conditions, mechanical excavation and installation of heavy support system including lattice girders and rock anchors are being implemented. After surge shaft, about 2 km long twin penstock system consists of pressure tunnels and pressure shafts are being excavated through challenging geological conditions. The penstock group divided into three parts namely upper, middle and lower pressure tunnels and pressure shafts. The excavation of pressure tunnels and pressure shafts are in progress through three access edits. The pilot hole drilling for middle pressure shafts have been completed at the beginning of this month. The re-aiming and expansion of pilot hole shall follow afterwards. The excavation and supporting of upper pressure tunnels and chambers for pressure shafts are in progress. The excavation and supporting of about 250 meters deep lower pressure shaft is in progress. The expansion of re-aiming hole is being done with drilling and blasting method. Considering the importance of the structure and geological conditions, the strict safety and construction measures are being guaranteed. The underground powerhouse complex is located 35 km downstream from dam site and accessed through 700 meters long tunnel. The construction activities of the underground powerhouse complex are at full swing. The civil and electro-mechanical works are in progress side by side. Main powerhouse is housed with four Pelton turbines and construction on all units are in progress.
The structural works are in advanced stage for unit number 4. After successful hydrostatic test, the distributor of unit 4 has been buried with concrete. The both bridge cranes having maximum capacity of 225 tons each are fully functional and taking part in the loading and unloading activities. The distributors, pit liners and required piping system has been laid down for unit number 1 and 2. The fabrication of distributor for both units are in progress. The preparation for hydrostatic testing is on the go for unit number 3. The water pressure always maintained during pouring of concrete. The project quality standards with high accuracy and precision are always in place during such key structures. Then the structural works followed to bury the unit distributor. The fabrication works of shaft housing for unit number 4 and other piping system are in progress at Erection Bay. After completing the fabrication and concreting works, the casing was lowered at designated place. The transformer hull is located 45 meters downstream from powerhouse and connected with four bus bars and two internal access tunnels. The structural works of transformer hull is in progress with full strength. The fixing of steel reinforcement formwork for unit number one and two is underway. Recently, the concrete has been poured for unit number one. First transformer arrived at construction site last month. There are 13 single phase transformers which will be installed in main transformer cavern, including one spare transformer. The capacity of each single phase transformer is 105 megavolt ampere and net weight of each transformer is 96 tons. Each generator is equipped with three single-phase main transformers, and there are a total of 12 single-phase main transformers are equipped for four-generator unit. Considering the poor ground conditions, the steel lining has been designed for short section of headrace tunnel and whole stretch of penstock system. To produce the steel cans as per site requirement, a state-of-the-art steel factory has been erected within the project area. Thick steel plates are sliced according to the design requirement, folded through pressure to give the can shape, and then welded. The experienced welders using automatic, manual and submerged arc fillet welding of steel plates. The strictly quality assurance system exercise to check the welding. The non-destructive testing including visual testing, ultrasonic testing, penetration testing and time of flight diffraction TOFD, is in practice. After sandblasting and painting, the cans were transported to the respective site. The project is expected to be operation by December 2022. Let's hope the project catch the planned timeline and contribute positively to manage the country's energy outages. Allah be praised. Thanks viewers for watching. Thumbs up if you like. Write us your valuable suggestion in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for more informative and exciting videos about energy projects. Share the video link if you feel value.